In this video, we're going to look at an interesting factoring trick, which is a difference of sixth powers. With a difference of sixth powers, we're going to have to make a decision because the square root of x to the sixth is x cubed. Square root divides the exponent by 2. But we're also aware that the cube root of x to the sixth is x squared, dividing the exponent by 3 for a cubed root, which means a difference of 6 powers may be a difference of squares, or it may be a difference of cubes. We need to take a moment to decide which it is so that we can employ the correct formula. To decide, we will use the numbers. If we can take the square roots of the numbers, then we'll use the difference of squares. If we can do the cube roots of the numbers, then we will do the difference of cubes. So very important to keep track of which one we're working with. So when we see x to the 6 minus 49 y to the 6, there's only two terms, so we're thinking shortcuts. But with 6 power, it could be either cubes or squares. So we look at the number. Can we take the square root of 49, or can we take the cube root of 49? We can do the square root of 49. This is a difference of squares. The difference of squares factors to the sum and difference of the square roots. Now, the square root of x to the 6th is x cubed. Squares Square root divides by the exponent by 2. The square root of the 49y to the 6th is 7y cubed. Square root of 49 is 7. The square root of y to the 6th is y cubed. And now we have our final factored form. x cubed plus 7y cubed times x cubed minus 7y cubed. Let's try another difference of 6th powers. 8a to the 6th minus 27b to the 6th. Now, we've got two terms, so I'm thinking tricks. Ah, uh, we also have a 6th power, though. So it could be either a difference of squares or a difference of cubes. To decide, we look at the numbers, 8 and 27. Can we take the square root of those, or can we take the cube root of those? 8 and 27, we can take the cube root of those. So this is a difference of cubes. That was the slightly longer formula, where we first say, what's the cube root of 8a to the 6th? That'd be 2a squared, divide the exponent by 3 with cubes. The cube root of 27 is 3, b squared. And then we had the big one. Square the first term, 2 squared is 4. Square a squared, multiply the exponents, we get a to the 4th. In the middle, we multiply them together, 2 times 3 is 6, a squared, b squared. And finally, squaring 3, we get 9, b to the 4th. Squaring squared, 2 times 2 is 4. And then for signs, we think about soap. Same sign as the problem, opposite sign as the problem, and always plus, we have factored this one as a difference of cubes to 2a cubed minus 3b cubed, I'm sorry, 2a squared minus 3b squared times 4a to the 4th plus 6a squared b squared plus 9b to the 4th power.